welcome to Abe B Blog. Our topic for today is about the weaknesses of quantitative research. To start with, let's go over with the different components of it. First, we have the respondents. The second, we have the cost. Third, we have the context. Fourth, the research instrument. Fifth, ethical issues. And lastly, the validation. Number one, quantitative research requires a large number of respondents. It is assumed that the large the sample is, the more statistically accurate the findings. Meaning to say, we need a very large number of samples. The greater the number of samples that we have, the more accurate and valid our result is. And also, uh, there is a time consuming but you have to handle it carefully or else your research will not that be valid. Number two, it is costly since there are more respondents compared to quantitative research. The expenses will be greater in reaching out the people and in reproducing the questionnaire. So you have to look at your budget in doing or pursuing your research because it is costly. Meaning, you need to budget it and include it to your expenditures. Reproduction of questionnaire is really cost. Number three, the information on contextual factors to help interpret the result or to explain variations are usually ignored. It does not consider the distinct capacity of the respondents to share and elaborate. Further information unlike qualitative research. In some cases, contexts are hard to find. But of course, this helps us to give more evidence and proof for our research. Elaboration of findings using different contexts and statements makes quantitative more meaningful and concrete. However, some of the researchers did not include some of the context in our interpretation of data. And, but you know, here in the Philippines, most of our literature have synthesis. That's, I am, that's why I'm so proud that I am a Filipino. Number four, many information are difficult to gather using structured research instrument, specifically in sensitive issues like premarital sex, domestic violence, and among others. That's why we need to administer the tests and monitor the responses of the respondents of a particular study. Number five, if not done seriously and correctly, data from questionnaire may be incomplete and accurate. Researcher must be on the lookout on respondents who are guessing in answering. The instrument are some of them may not reveal the real response due to ethical issues. That's why as a researcher, we have to uh, administer the tests. We are the one who, who have to administer it or else some of the respondents will not be uh, rely, uh, the, res the response of these respondents will not be reliable because somehow they just guess it. Sometimes they, go, they give five just because they see that most of your, of your questionnaire have responses five. Then they check every details of it into five. So that's why it is not that valid. We have to explain every details of our questionnaire, research questionnaire. That's why it is very, it is included in the weaknesses, the instrument. You have to be very careful with your responses or respondents because they have some issues. For example, they have some issues on the question, then they are not going to answer it correctly. Specifically, if they are emotionally disturbed. If they are emotionally emotionally disturbed, they cannot answer it directly. So their emotion will not uh, the emotion will not be 
uh, included in the responses. So meaning, it is invalid. That's why you have to look and administer the test. Number six, preparation and validation of research instrument take uh, may takes time. If not standardized tools, standardized tools are available. Meaning to say, the researcher must ask help of the expert. And also, uh, this is for the validity. If they are not going to ask expert, therefore, the research questionnaire will not be valid. And somehow, there is some problem with the expert. They are not available. So that's why it, time it is time consuming. Sometimes you are ready to get the, the data or your research questionnaire, but sometimes they are not ready. The research, uh, the expert is not ready or did not read your documents or your research questionnaire. So that's a big problem. The communication of the expert and the researcher is also included in this part. That's why it is a weakness. If there is no communication at all, it is a big problem on the quantitative research. So, that's all for today, guys. I hope you understand every details of my research or of my discussion. For more further discussions and questions, you can just simply put the comment downward and just put like if you like my episode. By the way, don't forget to subscribe if you like my video so that some of the uh, episode for the research will be on your inbox. Hope to see you for the next episode. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. Thank you for viewing and listening. Hope to see you again. Bye-bye.